Hello friends. Welcome to my channel Bainberia Tech. Today we will talk about technology that will change our lives in 2050. There are 10 technologies that will change the world by 2050 and beyond. These dates and predictions are understandably vague and arbitrary and we all know that predictions often go flat. However, the knowledge gained through planning for potential technologies is crucial for selecting appropriate actions as future events unfold. Let's get started. Ten. DNA computing. Life is far, far more complex than any of the technologies humanity has ever created. As such, it could make sense to use life's building blocks to create an entirely new type of computational power. Indeed, for all the talks of artificial intelligence, nothing beats our mushy insides when it comes to learning and making inferences. DNA computing is the idea that we can use biology instead of silicon to solve complex problems. As a DNA strand links to another, it creates a reaction which modifies another short DNA sequence. Action. Reaction. It's not a silly idea. Most of our computers are built to reflect the very organic way humans think. How else would we grasp computers' inputs and outputs? Humanity is pretty far from anything usable right now. We've only been able to create the most basic Turing machine, which entails creating a set of rules, feeding an input, and getting a specific output based on the defined rules. In real term, well, we managed to play tic-tac-toe with DNA. Volumetric displays, free space displays. If one cuts through the blah blah, of which there is too much in this space, volumetric displays are essentially holograms. There are currently three techniques to create holograms, none of which are very impressive. Illuminating spinning surfaces, first seen in 1948, illuminating gases, first seen in 1914, or illuminating particles in the air, first seen in 2004. The use of volumetric displays in advertising, the primary focus for this concept, may be either greatly entertaining or absolutely terrible because of potential impracticabilities. You can imagine which easily by watching Blade Runner 2049. I'm also dubious about the tech's importance. Computers were supposed to kill paper and I still print every single presentation I receive to read it. I don't see hologram being anything else than a hype tech attached to other more interesting techs, such as adaptive projectors. 8. Brain Computer Interface BCI. A brain computer interface, sometimes called a neural control interface, mind machine interface, direct neural interface, or brain machine interface, is a direct communication pathway between an enhanced or wired brain and an external device. If you start reading words like electroencephalography, you've gone too far into the literature. If that sounds like something you've heard a lot about recently, it might have a lot to do with Elon Musk and a pig of his. Beyond obvious and needed work in the prosthetic space, it's the medical aspect which would be most transformative. A chip implemented in the brain could help prevent motion sickness, could detect and diagnose cancer cells and help with the rehabilitation of stroke victims. It could also be used for marketing, entertainment and education purposes. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. There are currently dozens, if not hundreds of technical challenges to wrestle with before getting anywhere near something the average person could use. First and foremost, we'd need to find the right material that would not corrode and or hurt the brain after a few weeks, and get a better understanding of how the brain actually works. Hyperloop. The fact that Elon Musk makes a second appearance on this list is a testament to his very specific brand of genius. His Hyperloop project consists of an underground low-pressure tube in which capsules transporting passengers and or goods move. Beyond removing air from the tube, friction on the ground is also removed, as the capsules are lifted by an electromagnetic lift systems. The capsules are propelled by a magnetic field created by linear induction motors placed at regular intervals inside the tubes. Removing air and ground fiction would allow such a transportation method to reach insane speed, 1,102 km per hour versus 885 km per hour for planes at full speed, and the Hyperloop can reach its top speed much faster than a plane. 
Other benefits include reduced pollution and noise. However, this technology would require the creation of extensive tunnels, sometimes under cities. The price is fairly prohibitive, $75 million per kilometer built. Other issues include making a perfectly straight tunnel, removing all air from the tube, and reaching the passengers in case of accidents. This has led some transportation experts to claim that the Hyperloop has no future. Regardless, the memes are hilarious. 6. Secure Quantum Internet As I've mentioned in my previous articles, quantum computing will allow us to take leaps in the number of calculations a computer can do per second. A byproduct of this is the fact that no password will be safe in a quantum world, as it should become possible to try all possible text and number combinations in record time. Modern problems require modern solutions. Researchers at the Delft University of Technology in the Netherlands are working on a quantum internet infrastructure where communications are coded in the form of qubits and entangled in photons, yes, light, flowing in optical fibers, so as to render them impossible to decrypt without disturbing the network. In everyday word, that means that anyone listening in or hacking the network would disrupt the communication, rendering it unintelligible, data in such a state is, by nature, impossible to observe without altering it. The underlying science is fascinating, and I strongly recommend clicking on the link below to explore it. 5. Smart Robots, Autonomous Mobile Robots This has also been a staple of sci-fi for many years, for obvious reasons. Imagine mixing robotics with enough artificial intelligence to entertain the idea of the digital world becoming physical. Before any of this can ever happen, we will need to improve robotics, robots don't move so good right now, and create a new branch of AI research to explore a myriad of reactions such a technology would require to be operational. AMRs will also need nice, strong batteries, hence the current research into lithium-silicon technologies. Though no terminators are in sight, we're starting to see such autonomous robots in warehouses, where they pick your Amazon purchase, and in the street, where they've begun bringing us our groceries. 4. Flying Autonomous Vehicles This one is easier to grasp as it has been part of the collective imagination for dozens, if not hundreds of years. Cars. But they fly. Obviously, there are a lot of issues with this very sci-fi idea. We're already struggling to stop people from attacking classical, autonomous cars. So the jury is still out on whether it will ever come to be. Another issue is the fact that much of our world is built for traditional cars. Roads, buildings, parkings, insurance, licenses, everything would need to be destroyed and remade. It is likely that such cars will never see the light of day unless society crumbles and is rebuilt, 2020's not over yet. There are currently 15 prototypes in development. I bet that none of these will ever come to light except as playthings for the uber-rich. But hey, who doesn't want to see Zuckerberg live out his midlife crisis in the skies? 3. Digital Twins As opposed to some of the other texts discussed in this article, this technology may not affect you directly, and is already being implemented, and will continue to be for a long, long time. Essentially, digital twins integrate artificial intelligence, machine learning and software analytics to create a digital replica of physical assets that updates and changes as its physical counterpart changes. Digital twins provide a variety of information throughout an object's life cycle, and can even help when testing new functionalities of a physical object. With an estimated 35 billion connected objects being installed by 2021, digital twins will exist for billions of things in the near future. If only for the potential billions of dollars of savings in maintenance and repair, that's a lot of billions. Look out for big news on the matter coming out at the manufacturing, automotive and healthcare industries. Why would I mention this ever-present idea as a technology to look out for in 2050? Easy. Though we are talking about objects now, the future of digital twins rests in the creation of connected cities and connected humans. Two. Hyper-personalized medicine. This is yet another technology which is burgeoning today, but has yet a long way to go. At its heart, hyper-personalized medicine is genetic medicine designed for a single patient, making it possible to treat diseases that were once incurable, or that were too rare to be worth curing. In 2019, 
a young girl named Mila Makovic, suffering from a rare and fatal genetic brain disease, was offered a tailor-made treatment, named Malasin, cute, to restore the function of the failed gene. Though she is not cured, her condition has stabilized, which is a big win. The development of such personalized drugs is made possible by rapid advances in sequencing and genetic editing. Creating a complete human genome sequence has gone from costing $20 million or so in 2006 to less than $500 in 2020. However, creating a drug still requires major resources, a year of development in Mila's case, and the mobilization of specialized teams. The question of cost therefore risks limiting the generalization of such treatments. 1. Anti-aging drugs. Several treatments intended to slow or reverse aging are currently in their testing phase. They block the aging of cells linked to age and reduce the inflammation responsible for the accumulation of toxic substances or degenerative pathologies, such as Alzheimer's, cancer or cardiovascular diseases. In short, we're not trying to cure aging, but instead seek to improve immune functions in older people. Many studies are ongoing. In June 2019, the American startup Unity Biotechnology, for example, launched a knee arthritis drug test. The biotech Alka Hest, on the other hand, promises to curb cognitive loss by injecting young blood components. Finally, researchers have been testing rapamycin, an immunosuppressant, as an anti-aging treatment for many, many years. The latter shows great promises, as it improves immune functions by as much as 20%. The barriers are many. Beyond the scientific costs, political pressure will need to be applied to key players to change the rules of healthcare as we know it. And we know how that usually plays out. Technology has a tendency to hold a dark mirror to society, reflecting both what's great and evil about its makers. It's important to remember that technology is often value neutral. It's what we do with it day in, day out that defines whether or not we are dealing with the next big thing. Please comment on how you like today's video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks everyone for watching the video.